close to a billion people in the world do not have access to safe drinking water. According to the World Health Organization, a child dies from a lack of clean water every 20 seconds. But a world-renowned river conservationist is teaming up with the local school children to try to change that. Linda Aylesworth has the story. Okay, students, everybody watching, we're going to get you to stand up. Shh. Okay. This is no ordinary school assembly. The students of Brentwood Elementary in Burnaby are rehearsing for one of the biggest events of their lives. Water for life! The children have been practicing this and other songs for weeks. Their teachers instructing them on their common theme, which is the importance of water. The kids love the songs, right? Because uh, there's, there's a great energy. The kids love to, to sing and learn about nature. It's funny because they just, they, they latch onto it and they just, they sing right out with so much passion. Kevin Wright and Holly Arntzen wrote the songs, which will be performed this Thursday night at the Water for Life Benefit Concert at the Michael J. Fox Theatre in Burnaby. We hope that our work helps our community to come together to address really difficult, challenging issues, environmental issues. The concert is the brainchild of Mark Angelo, Order of Canada recipient and passionate river conservationist. The genesis of this event actually goes back to my time in Ethiopia, where I spent time in a really remote village up in the foothills. The people of that village, unlike most of us, do not take their water for granted. The nearest source is a 15-kilometer round trip away. Mark joined the tribal women on their trek to the parched riverbed one day. We traveled about three hours to the water hole. We filled up our containers. It took about four hours to get back. So it was a seven-hour journey just to get water. And that's something that these women did every day. The goals of the concert are to raise awareness about the increasing scarcity of clean water around the world and to raise money for relief work in Ethiopia and to help protect key parts of the Fraser River here at home. I think it will be a wonderful celebration of water and rivers, but at the same time, I think it will promote the importance of all of us being good water stewards wherever we might live. Good job.